Hi there, folks. Uh, today we're going to take a look at Benchmade's new uh, product slash service offering that they have on their website, which allows you to uh, gives you the capability to order a customized griptilian or mini griptilian. Uh, I've become kind of a fan of Benchmade knives. Uh, I've, uh, I seem to have more of uh, their knives in my collection than uh, any other and was really intrigued by uh, this uh, new offering that they have. They've only had it for a couple of months. They started with just the Mini Griptilian and, and I think within the last month they've, they've expanded it uh, so that you can order the full size Griptilian as well. So let's take a look at it. Let's go, to go, go ahead and go to the Benchmade website and uh, you will see I'm logged in here. Uh, you will need to create an account on the Benchmade site to use this service. In terms of where to find it, uh, right now for the time being it's one of their kind of featured items on their website. If you kind of scroll through here you would be able to see it. Here we go. Uh, customize a Griptilian to match your tastes. You can also find it under, under services here, customize a Griptilian. Now I decided to go ahead and order the full size Griptilian. The first choice here that you make is selecting whether you want the Griptilian at 125 or the mini Griptilian at 115. Uh, only 10 bucks for the bigger knife, so why not? Uh, I have a mini Griptilian that I got a couple of months ago and I'm I'm really coming around on this knife. I initially was kind of lukewarm on it because of the FRN handles, but the more I've carried it, the more I realized just how resilient those handles are uh, compared to other other handles that you can have, and and just the I love the access lock and the grippiness of the Griptilian. It's a it's a real nice knife. So I thought, you know, getting a, a full size model uh, to my specifications was an intriguing idea. So okay, I've selected Griptilian at $125. Handle colors, uh, there's a cornucopia of colors and you, you don't have to have the same uh, color if you uh, throughout if you want to say make the left hand yellow and the right hand orange, you can do that. Uh, and Again, when you make a lot of these choices it will update this picture here in the center to show you what your knife's going to look like. Uh, I went with a royal blue. Thought that kind of looked neat. And you've got a choice of plain edge or serrated. Uh, again, notice that it will uh, it will update there on the picture. I went with a plain edge. Uh, you've got some choices here in terms of drop point, tanto, the sheep's foot with the thumb hole. I just went with a drop point. Uh, if you want an all black blade you can get that. That's not really me. Uh, so I just went with satin. Here's one of the intriguing things here too. You've, you've got choices of blade steel and when you hover over the blade steel option you can see down in the description box it, uh, it gives you uh, some of the attributes of that particular blade steel. Uh, the base choice is 154 cm. For an extra 15 you can go with the D2. Um, also extra an extra 15 is the N680 and uh, if you go big willy here for $20 you can get S30V uh, which is what I ordered mine in uh, and that's really neat because uh, previously I think I, I don't think there's been a regular uh, Griptilian mini Griptilian offering that would allow you to have S30V I, I'm I'm sure there's been some sprint run or limited edition stuff that you could only get through certain vendors where you probably had this as an option. I'm not sure, but I'm just guessing that's the case. But uh, prior to this, you couldn't get a Griptilian or a Mini Griptilian and S30V, which is really exciting to me. So uh, I did select that. And then here under the components, you can uh, uh, you can mix and match colors here if you want. If you if you want to see what it looks like, all black with uh, the axis, the liners, and screws. You can, again, notice that the picture over here updates when you make these kind of selections. Um, you can mix and match. 
you know, if you want to. Again, you're, uh, you've got a lot of choices here that you can make. I went with all sil silver on mine. Clip, lots of clip choices here. Um, again, whenever you make any of these choices, it, it changes. I went with a split arrow uh, in silver. You can go no clip as well. Uh, though I don't know why you would do that. Just take the clip off when you get it. Keep it in case you you ever sold the knife and wanted to give it to somebody else. Now here in the next section here is, is where you get a high level of customization and really like the concept but the execution I think needs some work on Benchmade's part. Uh, you can add either text or an image to either the front of the blade or the back of the blade. So for example, if you wanted, uh, well let's let's go with what I did. I went with, uh, I put some text on, on the back uh, and I, uh, I put the name of uh, my company, the company that I own. And I put the website URL. on the second line. But now notice, let's see, I've, uh, I selected center, I think, uh, and I selected um, Times New Roman. You got a lot of font choices here in terms of the writing, and it does give you some examples of what the writing will look like, but, uh, and, and you've even got font choice, size choices here, but I, it doesn't update the picture with any of this information. There's not any kind of examples that maybe pop up to show you what it might look like. Uh, you're really working in the dark here in terms of, of what this is actually going to look like, which I think leaves a lot to be desired. You, you know, if I don't think it would be much to show some example images of what the writing would look like on the back of the blade or the front of the blade in the center position, you know, in the left position, in the right position. Um, you know, again, same with an image. Uh, the idea that you could upload an image to put it on, maybe you want your kid's picture on there or something. I don't know, but, uh, you know, it would sure it would sure be nice to sh see an example of, uh, you know, maybe another knife with another, even, even another image. Maybe, maybe they can't do a, an example of what your knife is going to look like with the image you've selected, but give me some idea uh, as to what this would look like. Uh, as you make some of these choices here in the, in the customize area, it does impact the cost. Um, I think the final cost on mine with, with shipping and everything was uh, just over $150. So it does say, if you'll notice up here, please allow three to four weeks to receive your customized Griptilian. So in three to four weeks, I'll, I'll have it and I will do a review for you. Uh, of what the final product looks like. Overall, I think this is a great idea. I think Benchmade is a real uh, innovator in this area, and uh, you know they're way out in front. I don't know of any other uh, knife company that's even tried to do anything like this. So kudos to to Benchmade, and I would encourage everybody to take advantage of this, uh, support this new service, so that they expand it to other knife model offerings, uh, so that they enhance the website and, and maybe. Uh, you know, take care of some of the shortcomings, uh, and maybe uh, yeah, maybe other knife companies will give you other uh, similar options to compete. Because I think uh, I don't see why every knife company doesn't offer something like this. Well, hope you enjoyed the video. Again, be on the lookout in about a month for the review of the knife that I did order. Uh, until then, take care. God bless, and I'll see you in the next video.